remember I went to a birthday party when I was like uh, eight years old and we rode around and we literally just walked around for 10 minutes and it was just done from there. I just was in love with horses after that. So then we continued taking lessons and it just got, the obsession just got worse. I knew I always wanted to be working with horses. As a little girl when other people were playing with Barbie dolls or make believe or play kitchens, I was playing with toy horses. I was playing ranch in my bedroom and they always made sense. Horses always seemed to click with me. So I knew that I wanted to get into a career with horses, but there's so many options, it was really hard to find that right path that really clicked for me. When I turned 15, my husband said, what do you want to do for the rest of your life? And I said, I want to ride. <laughs> so he said, well, you better buy a horse. So I bought a horse and we you know, took a lot of time away from the kids, so we decided to move up to this farm and I thought it wouldn't work, but it's worked out quite well for us. And we've been here 16 years and really enjoy it. She is my therapist. We are truly bonded. Uh, you know, I, I can't live as well a life without her. But she is my one and only. We are one. I was 12. I lived in British Columbia. My neighbor had horses. They had cattle. They said, here, get on the horse and go round up the cattle. With no training, I got on the horse survived <laughs> and that was my first brush with horses and then after that hello um, after that I had a friend who had horses and so I moved to Ontario um, quite a few years ago and when I moved here I bought my first horse. Choosing a post-secondary education for the equine industry there's not very many options in North America unless you go to the States and throughout high school I was diagnosed with Crohn's disease so I was constantly missing class I was sick in bed not being able to even get out of bed to do anything so when I found Equine Guelph and realized that these are online programs it was a no-brainer to me that not only would I get a quality education in the equine industry but on days when I'm feeling too sick to even move out of bed I can still do class in my projects without missing a beat Equine Guelph is really well respected in the agricultural community and having an education through Guelph that was not only respected but that I could really progress and really apply it to my job. Uh, when I first took the nutrition course, I only plan on taking one course just to get over that one hurdle. I got the bug, so be prepared. If you take one, you're going to take them all. And then you're going to go get the welfare certificate and all the other certificates. It's just you can't get enough of it. And your horse is so glad you did because you learned so much to help them in the welfare, everything. Um, i just like to thank everybody at Guelph, all the professors that take their time and their knowledge sharing with us. At Gwent Guelph has been such an amazing part of my life and it's almost sad that that part has come to an end. But also, Guelph has really given me the tools to succeed in the equine industry. It's given me the confidence to not only work with horses, but to work with the owners as well. I wouldn't be able to do what I do today without Equine Guelph, and it's such a part of my life, and I'm proud to be a Griffin. I chose Equine Guelph because throughout high school, I thought university was the path to go, just for no reason, but deep down, I always wanted to do something with horses. Um, I always thought about Guelph too, because I heard about their equine performance course, but when I found out about the online courses, it was just like really exciting. Just all the courses they offer were really, seemed really beneficial just for even being a horse owner. Well, sometimes you lose sight of the fact that horses are wild and what we do to them is really unnatural. So when they start out and they're calling and they're freaking out and nervous and they won't even give you any attention, it's hard sometimes to remember that, you know, they're just doing what nature intended and we're the ones changing them. So you just have to remember to be patient. Equine Guelph is, is the place to get all that information. You're going to get so much training there, so much education. It, it just doesn't stop. Enjoy them, love them. They're wonderful and they're an addiction. <laughs> so be aware of that. You'll want more and more. <laughs> it's so worth it. To come into the barn and she knickers at you, you just go like, it's all worth it. I used to struggle a lot with like, a self-worth and a self-motivation to do things and having a horse was like something to wake up and go do every day and having her be troubled it was like something to work towards and when there was improvement it made you feel really good about yourself. 
Well, my relationship today with my horses is that they're my whole life. 